Hello everyone, my name is Shohini Rai. I'm from Calcutta, India. I have completed my schooling from Kendra Vidyalay. Then I have went on to study Zoology Honours, BSc from Calcutta University. I have completed my Masters from Presidency University, Kolkata. And currently I'm pursuing my BA from Regional Institute of Education, RIE, NCERT, Puneshwar. All these years, whatever knowledge I have acquired, I would like to extend that and help the present learners to become our future citizens. And thereby, I would love to grab this opportunity to showcase a little bit of how I would like to teach the next generation. Since this is a virtual mode of teaching, I prefer that the students get a chance to learn by doing activities that engages them and also helps them to get a feeling of interaction with themselves, with the classroom, with their peers, and be able to focus more. I would like to give you a small demo of how I teach using this platform. So let me share my screen. It will be a small presentation for class six. I hope you enjoy it. Hello students, how are you doing today? So, I would like to ask you a few questions before we start our today's lesson. You joined this meeting, right? What did you use while joining this online meeting? Yes, very good. You used your hand. Now remember when you were in school, you and your friend used to walk in the corridors, go out to play, go to the next classroom to meet your friend. What were you using then? Yes, you are correct. You are using your legs. And whenever a madam or sir comes in the class and asks you to take notes, what do you use? Very good. You use your hands. So today, we will learn about these body movements that you make. Can you tell me how many body parts you can move? Yes, you can move your hands, legs, head. Very good. Yes, we can move all of that. And by moving these, we can do various activities. When you were younger, you used to crawl. Now you can jump. Some of you can swim. You play cricket. You play football. You ride. And all of this requires movement of different body parts. Let us do a small activity. You can see that your hand can be bent. Try it out, come on. Yes, take your hand and try to fold it and open it. Fold it and open it. You can also try that with your leg. See how the lady is doing? Bend your leg and then stretch it up. Bend your leg and stretch it up. You can do it, right? Very good. Whenever you are trying to move something like your hand, you see that two parts are joined together at this place. What is this place called? A joint. When two parts are joined together, it forms a joint. And what is the function of that joint? It helps in body movement. Similarly, when that lady was moving the leg and you also tried it, those two pieces that were moving, see, forms a joint. See, the place where two bones are joined is known as a joint. Let us try another activity. We have to touch our hands. 
then with our hands we can touch our head we can touch our shoulders we can touch our legs right we can touch our hands we can touch our head we can touch our shoulders and when we are touching try to press press down see see do you feel something hard right in your head shoulders what are these hard parts called these structures are known as bones now previously we saw that two parts are joined and makes a joint so these two parts are what bones very good let us try another activity try to touch the upper end of your ear see how this boy is trying can you try to hold it now yes just like this you can right this part is known as cartilage which can be bent because they are less harder than bones so you can bend your cartilage that is present in your ears very good so now we can see this is our body inside the skin we have a skeleton and as we learned our skeleton is formed of bones cartilages and joints which gives shape to our body correct so we have a skeleton from our head to our toe composed of bones cartilages and joints which gives shape to our body now do you have any doubt please feel free to ask me okay very good moving forward today we will learn about various types of joints for that we need to perform some activity i'm sure some of these are in your pt classes as well it will be very easy let us try it out okay see how this lady is rotating her arms and legs come on stand up and try it out try to rotate your arms and legs are you able to do it very good these form the ball and socket joint see there is a ball and there is a socket the ball and socket joint allows the movement of the body parts in all directions as you just now tried moving your hand a full rotation is possible right and similarly the lady was moving her legs which constitutes our hip joint see this is your hip area this part is known as the ball and the upper end is the socket they sit together and helps the movement of hip joint and the shoulder joint so we can move our shoulder joint and hip joint in all directions any doubt very good so examples of the ball and socket joint as we did the activity do you remember very good we are able to move our shoulder in all directions so one is the shoulder joint and another one was the hip joint the joint between hip and pelvis now let us try another activity see how this madam is moving her head let us try doing that are we able to move our head very good now let us see what is this type of joint called it is known as very good it is known as pivotal joint and it allows movement in up down right and left directions 
And as you can see, which part are you moving? Yes, your head. And where is it attached? To your neck. So the neck along with the head makes a pivotal joint, which allows movement in up, down, right and left direction. Very good. Now we will try to only bend our elbow. Okay, just this area. We will open our arm and bend our elbow. Open our arm and bend our elbow. And also we will try to open our leg and bend our leg. Just like this madam is doing. Try it, come on. Very good, very good. So what is this type of joint called? It is known as a hinge joint. See, like a pencil box or a door. So, just see the video. Here, you tried opening your leg, holding your knee, right? See, when there is holding of the knee or holding of the elbow, then it forms the hinge joint. The movement is allowed only back and forth, back and forth. So that is like a door. It will close and open, right? Close and open. Similarly, it is closing and opening, closing and opening. And where do we find them? In our elbow joint and our knee joint. Perfect. We will learn about one more, okay? Now, are you able to open your mouth? Uh, which part are you moving? Tell me. Uh, you can only move this part, right? What is this? The lower jaw? Very good. So, this is known as fixed joint. Because from this, to this part. You are not able to move. Are you? Try. Only this part is coming down. But this to this part is not moving. Hence, they are fixed in a position. So what can we also call them? Immovable joint. Very good. So the joint between the upper jaw and the rest of the head is known as fixed joint. Perfect. Now, we all know that there are four types of joints. What are they? Ball and socket joints, pivotal joints, hinge joints, and fixed joints. Now, we will play a small game. Okay? Guess the joints. Who is ready? Excited? Come, let's play. See? This area is encircled. And this area is in circle. Now we have to remember the activities that we perform. See? We were performing this activity. Remember? Yes. So what is this joint called? Very good. It is called the ball and socket joint. And it allows movement in? Perfect. It allows movement in all directions. See? Shoulder joint, hip joint, examples, correct. Very good. Now see carefully what this sir is doing. He is trying to look sideways and up and then again down. So what kind of joint is he showing? Very good. He is showing the pivotal joint. So where are the movements happening? Yes, correct. It is. Upwards, downwards, to the right, to the left. Four directions. What is the example? What are we trying to move? Yes. The neck and the head makes the pivotal joint. See now, two areas are circled again. Can you check? We were trying to move our elbow. 
we were able to move our elbow we were able to move our knee so what is this joint called very good it is known as hinge joint and the movement is allowed only back and forth back and forth so the examples are elbow joint and knee joint perfect very good boy so this is the final one this will be easy for you guys come on try what is this female showing what is this ma'am doing she is only able to move the lower jaw so the joint that is not moving is very good it's the fixed joint also known as immovable joint and what is the example very good the upper jaw with the head part very good now you will have to go small assignment when we meet the next class i will discuss this with you it is very easy you know that the number of bones that you were born with changes with time as you grow older so it is very easy you just have to find out what were the number of bones that you were born with and how many number of bones do you have now okay everyone can do it so we will meet in the next class thank you so much always remember work hard keep learning and have fun okay class so that was my way of teaching the students and i hope that you liked it i hope that i can present these type of small presentations and demos to teach other students and i would be privileged to get an opportunity to help students thank you so much have a good day